Um, next. Good evening, Councilmen and women. Andrina Foster, I'm back again. You missed one month, but we're back. A couple questions today. The first thing, we still have not received the answer within every month of us coming here. Body cams. When are we going to get body cams, or when are we going to try to attempt to get body cams on officers? That's the main thing, number one. What is the protocol? This is another question that I asked recently. What is the protocol to get Officer Anthony Green off the streets? Also, how can I request his file? There's a lot of things going on. We have a lot of crooked officers out here, and this is one of them. As well as, there's another one, but we don't have that information. But as far as Officer Anthony Green, we need to find out what can we do to get this crooked officer off the force. Seven shootings, four murders. My brother, Edward Foster III, was the fourth one. Who will be next? Me, you, him, her, or maybe Chief Rosen. We don't know. We don't know because he's still on the streets. Another thing, last council meeting we came in, we asked, was Officer Green back on patrol. Chief Rose stated, as of today, which was that date of the council meeting, he's still on the force. Question is, is he back on patrol? Did If he's not on patrol, did he become off patrol the date of that council meeting when we asked that question? We still haven't received answers. Every question that we ask, we have not received any answers. None of them. I was also informed by Alliance from an organization that's joined with us in regards to my brother's case, that there was a meeting with Chief Rowe, some of his staff members. And in that meeting, I mean, God is the only one that can judge a human being. No one else can. And in that meeting, Chief Rowe basically judged my brother and put Officer Green on a high pedestal and also made a comment that he no longer wants to be an officer. I wouldn't be an officer if I shot seven people and killed four of them. I wouldn't want to be an officer either. But as of today, we need answers. Body cams. What is the procedure to get his file? What is the procedure to get him off the force? If we have to, we will recall Chief Rose's position because at the moment, He's not doing anything also. We're not getting answers. We're not getting answers to the questions that can be answered. All we want is answers. We understand some answers cannot come. That's the reason why we are not asking the questions that we used to, because as you guys said, it's per the case. So give us the answers that we can get. Body cams, file, protocol on getting them off the streets. Give us some type of answers. That was my three minutes. Okay. Can I have some answers? Mr. Manager, do you want to answer? Mayor, what we can do is we can uh, record what happened tonight and we'll do the best we can to answer. Certainly on the records request, we'll work with the city attorney's office and provide them with whatever records they're entitled to and whatever other answers we can give them, we will certainly do that. And then we'll also leave, uh, I'll leave my name and my telephone number so that if she has additional questions, she can feel free to call me. Well, Definitely. We've, we've, you know, the council has been very patient with this whole exercise, and um, we know there's com there, it's a complicated issue. But at some point in time, this has got to stop happening in front yes. of this council. Okay. So, to you, to the chief, um, I don't. I, I would like to not have to have these people come back and address us in this in this form or fashion anymore. So yeah, I, whatever I it is. I understand and I appreciate your concerns. I think there's a certain amount of reticence because of the lawsuit and so, but that doesn't negate the fact that they're entitled to answers and we will provide whatever we're able to do uh, within the confines of the I law. I understand. Vice Mayor. No, I would just go into echo those same sentiments. I don't think this should be playing out. 
in this forum. And if there is some information that can be provided to them, I think it's very prudent for us to provide that information to them so that they don't have to continue to come in and speak in, in, in the pu pub public forum in this manner. So thank you so much for your assistance with that. I appreciate it. One thing about it, our eyes are open, our ears are open. We're not going anywhere until we get our answers. I understand. And, That's and my three minutes. We have more people, I'm sorry. Crystal Foster, Edward Foster III, is also my brother who was executed by Officer Green. Let me just first say that everyone is, everyone is mis misunderstanding his history. He has killed four people, Anthony Sinati, Jason Williams, 16-year-old Danny Cruz, and Edward Foster III. That's four people. So the media and everyone else can say three, but it was actually four people. Public records, we are entitled to his records and we would like his records. And we will continue to keep coming here. If you want the next council meeting, you can give us the answers. We're not gonna stop coming because the justice that we want is we want Officer Anthony Green off the streets, indicted, indicted. Once the truth comes out and it shows that he did, because everything's allegedly, it shows that he did murder my brother, I want him convicted of murder, period. I don't just want him off the streets. I'm a little concerned because as the mayor, Mr. Porter, you see that we've been coming out here every month and not one time, no one's addressed our questions and answers. And I don't understand how I had to go on YouTube and see how Officer Green was actually terrorizing a gentleman on camera in front of his home. If you YouTube, Officer Green harassing in Homestead, you'll see him harassing this gentleman in Homestead. It's disturbing. This man killed my brother walking to the store. And it's, it's devastating. And, and I, I'm not gonna, we're not going to stop. We're not going to stand for it. We're not going to stop. We're, we're going to continue to come. I mean, this is a public announcement. We're allowed to come and, and, and give our, um, our opinions and whatever it is. But we want answers and we want the truth to come out. Um, we, if you Google, everything is allegedly Chief Rowe was investigating for public records, tampering public records. We don't want that to happen to my brother's case. We want the whole file for Officer Green. And as if you was in our shoes and you see all of these, these things that are negative that happen in Homestead Force, you'll understand why we feel the way we feel. Trust me, we will not, we're not going to stand for it and, and honestly, Mayor, we will come here every council meeting. I appreciate you addressing it today, but I, I appreciate it. We will be here next month, and we will be high in numbers next month. And I hope and pray that you all give us the answers that we need. Because at the end of the day, my brother lost his life. His kids lost their mother and their father. And we're, not good. we're their voices. And we're going to continue to come and come until justice gets served. Mr. Manager? Maybe, yeah, I just want to also address, uh, I think what I'm about to say, nobody should understand. Nobody should be happy with. I'm not happy with it. But unfortunately, there's certain state laws that confine us in terms of how to handle these types of cases. And so because of due process reasons, there is a procedure in place for agencies above us to handle it. So some of the silence shouldn't be construed as anything other than people trying to stay within the process. That doesn't mean they shouldn't be frustrated. That doesn't mean they shouldn't be grieving for, for, for their loved ones. And I, I would just suggest to you that whatever we can do legally to get you whatever answers you need, we certainly would do that, and you have my word for it. Uh, in, in terms of the officer, there's a process in place that we don't even handle because that's the way the law is structured to it. And so we're going to do the best we can to get you your answers. But in terms of why certain things take time, we ask ourselves the question all the time of why things take time that are out of our hands. And again, we're, we're waiting just like you are. Okay, I understand that. And I understand there's a lot of questions that you guys can't have. And that's out of respect. And we understand that because we don't want my brother's case to be, right. you know, we don't want it to come out. But, this, but what I'm saying is, my, when I spoke to Miami Day Homestead, Homicide, when I spoke to Miami Day, who has the case, they stated that you guys can give us the answers why we asked the question last Homestead meeting. We said, why is, is, is Officer Green patrolling? Meaning, was he patrolling at the time after my brother died? Was he patrolling? That's the question we wanted to know. We, we didn't want to hear the answer, 
Officer Green was was re, was never off the force. He was reassigned as of today. He's off the force. The question is, was Officer Green patrolling the streets when my brother was murdered? Because how do you have a community, a safe community for us citizens, taxpayers? You have us in a safe community, but you have an officer that is under investigation still patrolling the streets and harassing people on YouTube. It doesn't make sense to me. I understand. And what I, I, ha I handed out a stack of my cards. I hope you'll pass them down. In addition to the questions that you've asked for tonight, if there's anything else that you want answered, feel free to email me or call me or however you want to handle the communication. Come by and see me. Whatever works for you. We'll inventory all your questions. You'll know which ones we're able to answer, which ones we're not. And then if somebody says we should have answered this one or that one, we'll have a conversation about that. That's cool. Okay? That's cool, but we're not going to stop until Officer Green is off the force. Period. Uh, he's not patrolling. We want him off the force. Period. L let me, Period. Let me, just in, let me interject just a second. The, there's, I know you have questions and concerns about the police department. You're dealing with the manager. He's not the police chief. He's not a police officer. Give this gentleman a I chance. Will. Give this gentleman I a will. chance to work with you I will. and give you the answers and 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 let him build his level of trust with you so that you can work through. We can work through this issue, but he's he's the, he's the man in charge, and he's oh. not the police chief. And it, and so it, give him a chance, please, to, to let to yeah, let him explain everything. I will and do I, that. I can, I'll, I pro I can promise word. you. I'll tell you the truth. Yes. Some of the answers, the truth may not be satisfying to you, right. but I'll tell you the truth, and then we'll take it from. As long there. as you respond back, that's fine. He Absolutely, will. he will. All we want is really the truth. So, Absolutely. like I said, whether it's devastating or not, we just want the truth. And the reason why we're actually mentioning and that's the main focus about is he back on patrol is because when we spoke to homicide miami-dade detectives as well as fdle i've been in contact with everyone they informed me chief Rowe is the one if officer green is back patrolling the streets it's chief Rowe's call to put him back on the streets no one else's but chief Rowe. so if indeed he is back on the street since july 16th it's because Chief Rowe said, hey, he's fine. Let's put him back on the streets. Right and on. in reality, that's putting him back on the streets. He's been harassing people. That's why some people don't want to be witnesses because he's harassing them. We have, a witness, we have a witness that's on YouTube, as she told you, you can Google. He's a cricket officer. He has to go. Let, let, let's, let, let's go with, with the success that we've got right now, okay? Let's, let's move forward. The man is a man of his word. Okay. Give him a chance. Please meet with him at your earliest convenience and his earliest convenience and see if you can get closer to closing this off and, and heal everybody, okay? Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Joseph. Anyone? Yes, sir. Uh, Ed was my big brother, and I'm just here for justice. You know, I want to know what's going on, basically. Just pretty much... It's a tough, it's, it's a delicate situation, it's hard to deal with. You know, we shouldn't be judged because I have gold teeth. I shouldn't be judged because I have on a hoodie or a ski or a scully. I shouldn't be judged because I sag my pants or I listen to rap music. I shouldn't be, shouldn't be judged by those things. I shouldn't be judged by the amount of tattoos that we have on our body. And I feel like he was judged and that's what led up to the events. And it, it's hard to deal with. You know? My nieces and nephews got to deal with it. I got to deal with it. My mom has to deal with it. My sisters got to deal with it. And we just want help. That's all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else at this time? You're welcome to come forward. <laughs> 